Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. This video is just going to be a short unboxing video of this Detroit Bikes bike that they uh, recently sent me to review. The box that this bike came in was very hefty. It was actually two boxes, one box inside of the other and it was quite large. In fact, it actually took me more time to get this box open and get the bike out of it than it did for me to assemble the bike itself. As you can see here in the video, like there's zip ties like connecting all these foam pieces and connecting the bike to the box, to the inner box. They did a really good job packing it. I was very impressed. But showing me cutting zip ties and struggling to get the bike out of the box is kind of boring, so let's just cut to where I'm actually able to get the bike out of the box. As you can see, the bike itself looks very shiny, very beautiful right here. Wow, I gotta say, that's probably some of the best bike packing I've ever seen. Not only was this, this box super thick and super huge, but parts of the bike were actually attached to the box with zip ties, so like it really couldn't go anywhere. Bravo, good job packing. Sticker. Awesome, they include the tools that you're gonna need to assemble it too, which looks like a 13 and a 15 millimeter, plus a little Allen wrench. A couple of washers, and of course the pedals. Nicely protected. Not too bad. I mean, they're plastic of course, but they're fairly flat, and they're pretty wide. You know, these, that's not bad. Yeah, they're Welgos, Welgo pedals. And not bad at all. For factory pedals, that's about as good as you could ask for. And another sticker. All right, let's get this thing together before it gets dark. Notice the tag hanging off the front of the handlebar. That's just kind of saying, you know, welcome and thanks for buying this bike. And if you want to look at the manual, go to this website, which I kind of like because that way they're not like wasting a bunch of paper that you're probably just going to throw away anyway. The manual is just totally online. Look at that. They even were nice enough to put the grease in for me. Okay, I have to say, I am super impressed so far with this bike. Not only does it look super good, it looks really nice with the black and silver, but it was super, super easy to put together. Basically, all I had to do was put the pedals on, bring the saddle to the right height. Oh, and I forgot, I still need to... No, I don't, actually. I was going to think I had to uh, straighten the handlebars, but they're already straight. Even the brakes are adjusted nicely. Even the tires weren't that low. I did add some air to them just, just you know, because it did could use a little bit, but they could be totally usable as they were. Now this company is kind of famous for being one of the only, if not the only, uh, American-based bike company. And what I mean by that is they make their own bikes all the way uh, from the steel to the, you know, to the assembly. Uh, however, this one being their lowest cost uh, model, I believe, I think I've heard this one, the frame is actually made in Asia, and then everything else is assembled in Detroit. But I think all their other bikes, actually the frames are welded in, in Detroit. So they're an American kind of based company. But I must say, these welds look super nice. I like these horizontal dropout inserts. That's a pretty nice piece. Chain seem, seems to be tensioned reasonably well, if not maybe a little too snug. I'll give it a ride and see how that works. 
some more of the same style decals. But wow, I must say this bike is quite handsome. There was so little to do to get this bike ready. I mean, basically you just put the wheel on, put the pedals on, set the saddle to the right height, and that's it. That's it. I mean, there's really nothing else to do. So yeah, this is a pretty short unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to say thanks to Detroit Bikes for sending the bike out for me to review. And uh, hopefully coming up pretty soon, I'll drop another video, which is going to be the actual full detailed review of the bike and how I got on uh, riding it over the next couple of weeks. All right, guys, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.